Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on BGP. Let's start our part 12. Let's look into case number 2. Alright, so this is on the uh, company C. So company C has the following requirement. For the first requirement, establish eBGP peer between uh, 5 and 3. Okay, so we have here as eBGP and between 5 and 4. So here we also have eBGP. So we are going to advertise 10.0x0. So we are going to use the network command and the label of the community attribute of the route 10.0.0 to be advertised to AS300. So when R5 advertised to AS300 for 10.0.0.0, we are going to use a community of 400 colon 1. Okay, so we are going to use a IP prefix to match 10.0.0.0 and uh, we are going to attach a 400 colon 1 community to send to R4. Alright, since this is a uh, uh, community, we have to advertise this to R4. Alright, let's look into the lab here. I have uh, configured the lab. This is the topology. So here I have the uh, R1, which is in AS100, R3, which is in AS200. So 2 and 4 is in AS300 and uh, 5 is in AS400. So let's have a look here. So on the router number 5, I have configured the BGP. Okay, and I also have configured the peering as well. So on the router 5, I have a peering to router 3. Okay, so we have uh, 35113 and 45114 okay and the solution for me to do it is very simple okay so this is the solution so over here we are going to do a marking based on 100 zero, zero, uh, sorry 10 zero, 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 advertised to 400 advertised to as for uh, 300 using a 400 colon 1 community so as you can see that we are we are going to create the IP prefix of uh, 10 and uh, we are going to match 10.0.0.24 okay and uh, here we have the uh, once you create the IP prefix then we are going to create a policy name change community okay I'm going to match based on the prefix if I match the prefix I'm going to apply a community of 400 colon 1 and finally I permit the rest okay so in this case 10.0.1.0 will have no community tag then I'm going to apply this to my peering and I'm going to do an advertised community so if I just go back into my configuration here I do a display IP IP prefix you can see that I'm matching 10.0.0 and uh, if I do a display route policy as you can see that my route policy to match the prefix number 10 okay so this is prefix 10 over here the name of the prefix and if I match 10.0.0 I'm going to apply as 400 colon 1 and finally I'm going to send this to the uh, AR4, router 4. So these are the two commands. So first I'm going to apply the policy and the policy is called changecom and I advertise it to R4. So if I go to R4, okay, let me do a display PGP route. So I have both 10.0.0 and 10.0.1.0. So if I'm going to do a display PGP route of 10.0.0.0 okay and press enter you'll notice that the community of 400 colon 1 is uh, received and if I'm going to do a 10.0.1.0 you'll notice that there's no such uh, community there because the matching is only matched based on 
0. Okay. On the uh, second scenario, okay, it's a requirement, prevent the route 10, 0, 0, slash 24 from transverse uh, AS300. Enable R4 to retain the existing community attribute. So just now R4, we receive a community of 400 colon 1. Okay. And you have to retain this. And avoid using filtering function, perform the configuration on router 4. So remember that we have a 400 colon 1 is here. So we are going to advertise to R2 as no export. Okay, so if let's say I have this 10.0.0.0, we have a community of 400 colon 1, we are going to send as no export. When R2 receive it, it will not send to uh, router 1. And for us to do, we have to use a community list. So let's look into the configuration. Let's look into the solution. So go into the router 4. First, we are going to configure the uh, community filter. So IP community filter 1. 1 is because that this is a basic. Okay, so I'm going to permit the community ID is called 400 colon 1. Okay, display IP community. So we have the uh, permit 400 colon 1. Next, we are going to create a route policy and the policy is called add community permit node 10. If I'm going to match my community filter number 1, I'm going to apply a community call no export. And you can see that I I have to use a keyword call additive because I'm not going to remove the 400 colon one with uh, no export. So I'm going to use the keyword additive, and I'm going to permit the rest. So node 20. When we do a display route policy, so we have two policy here. The policy name is called at com uh, first policy is to match the filter all right the community filter which matches the tag of 400 colon 1 and if it's 400 colon 1 we are going to tag as no export with adaptive the rest will get permitted and next we are going to go back into our bgp 300 we are going to uh, send this community to router 2 24112 with the route policy call at community. Okay. And we are going to do export. And very important is that since this is a community, we have to make sure that we advertise the community to number two. Okay. So we just to make sure that it can advertise. So I just do a refresh BGP all export. Okay. On router number two, I do a display BGP route community. All right, so I still have not received it. Let me do one more time. Refresh BGP all. This time, do an import. Okay, just need to wait for a while. There you go. All right, so you can see that this is the adaptive part, 400 colon one, with no export. So since this is no export, R1 will not receive the uh, 10, 0, 0, 0. So if we go into R1, display BGP route. Okay, so you can see that 10, 0, 0, we only receive from 13, but we never receive from number 12. Okay, so this is the second requirement. The next requirement that we have over here is that um, Ensure that the AS100 and AS200 prefer route that pass through AS300. Okay, so you will notice over here that uh, we have to use this path to go here. Okay, so 10010 
is belong to AS400. Now AS200 to AS400, by right you should use the least hop. All right, in this case the least AS hop. So for this solution um, or this requirement, the requirement is that R1 and R3 that belong to AS100 and 200 have to transit to 300. So what we can do for the solution here is on the AS200 we are going to do a AS adaptive. Okay, so we are going to add AS into our uh, advertisement. So let's look into the solution now. Okay, so before we start the solution, let's look into R3. Uh, the requirement is to have a 10.0.1.0. Okay, 10.0.1.0 in R5 should pass through the uh, AS300. So before we start, let's do a display BGP route. So as you can see that 10.0.1.0, we go direct to 3.5 here. Okay, the requirement is to pass through the other way around. Okay, so let's go into the uh, R3. First, we are going to match the 10.0.1.0 using IP prefix. Okay, so my IP prefix, let's say, is quite, uh, we are going to use 20 index 10 permit 10.0.1.0.24. And I'm going to use a route policy and the route policy I'm going to use change path permit not 10 if I match the IP prefix of 20 I'm going to apply the AS path of myself myself is 200 200 200 with adaptive okay and anything that is not match I'm going to allow it to pass through okay so that will be the node 20 and I'm going to apply this to peer 35 dot one dot one dot five route policy change path I'm going to do import okay so because this one is import into R3 so when I do a display BGP route okay so we still can see that uh, okay so we have a uh, 200 here uh, that is being adaptive so you can see that now it's actually passed to 1 3 as compared to earlier on, that's before the configuration, we actually go to 3.5. And now 3.5 is not uh, being preferred because of the adaptive and now 1.3 is being preferred. Okay, so this is how we can solve the solution by using the uh, AS path um, adaptive. Alright, so with this, uh, that is our case number two. So on the final part will be on the BGP examination. Alright, so how do you prepare for your examination? Well, the only way for you to do that is practice more on the BGP command. Alright, so there are certain unique features on the BGP that is not available on uh, both OSPF and RSIs, uh, especially the AS path filter and community filter. These two filtering are always important for you to practice since this is not available on other protocol. Alright, so round policy you will use it in the ISIS as well as OSPF. So I believe that you can be uh, quite familiar with this one. Okay, and uh, since the exam do provide you with the headaches, please do most of the uh, headaches example to make sure that you are familiar with it. Alright, so that's it. Uh, this is Yap and thank you for watching my video and I'll see you on the next uh, topic. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.